I'm making schmooze, lads. Great places! Everyone chooses a song. Say your choice out loud. There's the players for clicking. Hmm. Me and Julio down by the schoolyard by Paul Simon. <laughs> Fly me to the moon. Which one? Which one? The Evangelion one. Which one? Oh, okay. One. Said the Evangelion. <laughs> yeah, which one? But that you do you know how little that narrows it down? <laughs> Just say the first one, Luis. Yes, the first one. Close enough. All right. Mm. Good time by Leroy. Yo, sicko mode by Travis Scott. I'm glad. God. Bro, hmm. sicko mode at the Super Bowl? Come on, I mean. Actually, it already happened, didn't it? I know, exactly, it, that's why. It really did already happen. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> did, wait, 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 but did people feel more patriotic? Bro, oh. I def stood up for that shit. Fuck up, Bobby, you did. <laughs> Luis, what did you say? Uh, fly me to the moon. Alright, that makes me depressed. Luis gets fourth. <laughs> okay. Wait, you said fourth. Okay. Yeah. Fourth, yeah. Sure. All so, right. so Javi gets on, first right. for sure. Would you pick? Uh, good time by Leroy. I'd have to hear it, but I don't think I've heard that one before. That's is fine. That patri is that patriotic? Um. Is that patriotic to your new country? You know what? I'm going to say yes. All right. Sure. Uh, Luis, your last. Uh, Pops, your third. Sure. Uh, three out of four people have decided to honor that, so. <laughs> going to school? Bro. You know what you did. Uh, fuck, where am I going this time? You can buy an item at the gym, at the game. But doesn't it, like, stop me there, though? Hey, yeah, fuck it, let's go to the gym. I want to see what they got. Night gym. Give me your money. Let's face it, you're probably going to end up losing your money in some stupid way anyway. Why don't I spend it here first? It's being called good. just being smart. It's gonna be me in a month. All right, let's see. Oh, what the hell? Quite a bit. Uh, so hover much. over the book in the top right. A Russian novel with insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. Uh, hover over the present. Is there a naked pirate? <laughs> oh, I don't know. See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs given yeah the gift that keeps on giving Dude, is that a fucking bloody tampon in the first slide? yes it's a menarche is oh that cocaine God. can you hover over the cocaine that's like a mountain of cocaine a bag of regular oh my you god want... it really is cocaine mountain you know i think i bought some cocaine to impress vera but you know you, you know I got the cocaine. Yeah, most women the... are actually aren't impressed by cocaine what's the cassette tape a sexy fake Latin accent. I got the cocaine. Got what about the sword? A fake badass tattoo. The glasses? The fucking hype station. <laughs> High school social life was hard. That hiring pure. What the fuck? That uh, woman in the thumbnail kind of looks like your type. It's a PR agent. <laughs> Why? Wow. Blood ritual. It's a dollar. Buy me the book. You could be out. Yeah, man. Money. Uh, nothing better than the smell of money. Actually, I don't know what it smells, but you know what I mean, right? Oh, the money the might smell is? like Coke if you're lucky. All right, take me to class. That day you learn a ton of spells that are as cool as they are seemingly useless. Leviosa. A spell to renew sticker stickiness. Wait, Wait I need that. A spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream into vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Whoa, 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 whoa. About to gain plus two smarts. You actually use that last spell and you gain plus two smarts. Nearby, you see Scott and the wolf pack talking. 
I can yeah, get kind of yeah, crusty. We got the greatest power drink to date. Check this out, bro. That works too. That works too. Oh, I love power drinks. Cider is my power drink. Time to drink cider. Oh wait, the new cutting edge sports supplement is like no other before. There's no need to mix it with a beverage. You can consume it. Oh, hey, wait, it. hey yo. <laughs> it's oh. called cocaine. Yeah, coke, cocaine. Whoa. That totally doesn't sound like your regular power drink. One time I thought I could impress a Colombian woman with a cocaine. No, you couldn't. It didn't work. Which oh, looks like something that wouldn't work. Just like you said. Yeah, <laughs> it's like 50% energy drink, 50% protein power, and 100% raw power. God damn it, these crazy pranks. But before you can do anything, Scott has snorted all the coke. <laughs> oh my god, he just snorted all the coke. Yeah, sure. You know, um... And he's, uh, gone full wolf mode, and now he's basically unleashed and is destroying everything he sees. You know, that's, uh, what they did back in Germany. Normal stuff, yeah. You need to do something to calm it's him down. It's like that sometimes. But, uh, what? What the fuck? What the fuck is that say? Using your vast knowledge of aromatherapy, give him some lavender scented cocaine to neutralize the regular scented cocaine. I'm gonna give him a fidget spinner and see what happens. <laughs> oh. oh. You might be onto something. You start spinning a very flashy fidget spinner in front of Wolf Scott. He stops wrecking havoc and stares at the spinning fidget spinner. It's so spinny. After a while, he reverts to his normal self. Because everyone knows that cocaine triggers a werewolf transformation, but a fidget spinner can cancel it. This thing is the best thing he ever. It's like like a very safe and friendly shuriken. Oh Finally, God, someone really just says Luis. Man. When uh, you were in high school or middle school, you ever make like tinfoil shurikens? Yes. Not not tinfoil. Yes. Paper. 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 Paper Can I keep it? How can you say no to that pair of puppy dog eyes? Hooray! You see Scott fling with your fidget spinner, still managing to wreak, wreak some habit, despite calling it very safe and friendly. Clumsy, handsome Scott. You gain plus two charm and plus one smarts. All right. Hmm. Well, I wasn't going for Scott, but damn it. Well, I mean, he seems like your type. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm going for here, though. Uh, sure. Alright, another high school memory. It wasn't just the textbooks. People would put weird stuff on the bathroom walls, too. Yeah, they would. The oh, bathroom's outside yeah, they the would. school for some reason. They would also put the cool ass. Yeah, like this, right here. Death mm. overrated. Jekyll. Heart hide. Lumfow. Penis. Penis. That has a condition. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom is because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms, you give plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Plus After you finish shits. doing your business, you hear a commotion in the next stall. Oh God. It'd be polite to just ignore it and move on. Unfortunately, a cave troll Number taught you two. manners. Oh so yeah, I kicked the door open and Marina and Liam are held around some bathroom graffiti and they seem confused. So who can do the best pro ZD impression? Actually, that'd probably be me. Yeah, you got the deep. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's the password to a highly exclusive event. But well, what if people aren't smart enough to figure it out, and why make it a secret? Well, obviously they don't want outsiders to get in. Father's beard. That's how it starts. What starts? The revolution. Having a coup! No, no, it's probably like a party or something. Parties? This is actually what revolutions are about! What? I'm too young to have a revolution! You're not sure why this random piece of bathroom scrawl is important, but this is a great opportunity to impress them both. You confidently tell them. Well... No! <laughs> Polly! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Mm, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. Let's call it then. Oh my god, Miranda. Please don't let it be a revolution. Hello. Um. Hello. This is Polly's very hotline. Jesus Christ. A subsidiary of Medusa Incorporated. <laughs> do, do I really need to say all this stuff, Pharaoh? What's my dealer gonna think? <laughs> okay, fine. Please note that your call is being recorded for future blackmail. They're my friends! Alright, alright. They better not be joking about that literal mountain of cocaine. Oh <laughs> shit, cocaine no mountain! Cocaine in this school. <laughs> Please leave a message detailing all your most erotic desires and vulnerabilities after the beep. 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 <laughs> well, that's it. It's just Vera's scheme to capitalize on Polly. Ugh. That's fantastic! Vera would never throw a revolution. She imports our surf labor. Jesus. Anyway, thanks for helping us solve this. Revolution averted with one ambiguous hotline. You can't help but wonder what exactly it's for. You get plus two smarts and plus one charm. Okay, yeah. doing that voice gave me a headache, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It gave me one too. It gave me a headache also. I'm gonna have an aneurysm in my sleep. <laughs> you gotta pick. Green, green, why aren't you picking green? What? Green's having one right now. Auditorium? Auditorium, he said. Yeah, okay. Hey, fuck it, let's continue. Oh, that's oh. you. <laughs> or rehearsing for the class play, you totally forget your lines. It's terrible. Wait, that's adorable. But you don't let that get you down. You start improvising all your lines. It's marvelous. However, somehow it enhances the pathos of the play in unexpected ways. That's <laughs> saying something since half of your improvisation is a rap battle against your inner fears. Oh shit. Game plus two creativity. Yo, Hamilton? Between <laughs> class again. periods, you discover a severed horse head in your locker. It has uh, oh. a note in its mouth telling you to meet uh, Vera ASAP. A bap. I'm so glad you've come. Oh. I have another crime problem which would benefit from your insight. Thanks to your input, murder is court of the market app based assassinations. And yet, the other crime lords don't take me seriously. Just because I'm not a 40 year old man with a scary scar. Those sexist morons think this is just a phase for me. Since when did having a killer body and flawless skin disqualify a girl from having a life of crime? It's disgusting. She's right. He's right. She's right. How can I show these chauvinistic goons what a crime really means to me? Crime is the way I fly to you. <laughs> Come on, think of something. You're my most trusted advisor. Yeah. What a collection of choices. Oh shit! <laughs> I actually like one. I'm not gonna lie, even though it's it feels like the wrong choice. Jeez. Write a song of. <laughs> oh Wait, that also feels like the wrong choice, bro. No, they both yeah. seem wrong. Uh... Well, one of these is clearly the right answer. Alright, but is it quit crime? Quit crime. You gonna oh, go with the quit crime? That's the quit crime. You're lucky. You know, if this advice was coming from anyone other than you, I'd ignore it. We haven't been wrong yet. Fine. As is today, I'm quitting crime. So that the other bosses know. I'm sure they'll be so pleased. That's gonna create a power vacuum. People are gonna die. A few days later, you're getting a manicure with Vera when Gunbozo Giannetti, Arch <laughs> Arch of the Deranged Clown Assembly, bursts in weeping. Well, either he's weeping or he's got a sad face painted on his regular face. It's hard to tell with clowns. What are you doing here, Bozo? Didn't I tell you I quit crime? 
Dunbozo makes a series of gestures, honks, and quacks. Clownish. Luckily, Flair is fluent. What's that you say? What a crime? Is a wreck without me? Do tell. Hmm. He says nobody's been able to get good poison since I retired. Everyone's money is frankly unlaundered. Plus, half the bosses are dead because the letters I sent out announcing my sabbatical were full of vicious fungal spores. Omega -lo. Well, I had no idea you were all so miserable without me. You can tell the boss I'm back in the game. Gunbozo leaps up in the air and clicks the heels of his enormous red shoes. I love you too, Bozo. We'll have a gang war to celebrate. See you on the battlefield. Oh. Gunbozo runs out of the nail salon and piles into his tiny car with his 20 closest friends. Farrah looks at oh. you, dumbstruck. I must say, I never thought this would work. You truly are a loyal advisor. Oh, if only you could be more than just an advisor, but you can't risk curing your true feelings. Better just take the plus two smarts and plus one money and move on. I like to imagine that Bozo fucking walked out the store with the honking shoes. <laughs> Something oh, happened to me. Oh shit. Something happened oh. to Friday Nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Sure did. <laughs> really did. The fucking squad. Yo, Nerd. Miranda's above ground pool party. You're kicking it underwater at Miranda's palace. It's always a dicey situation as uh, how uh, dissidents are treated in her kingdom. But she's used to royal connections to procure the next season of Bobo, thanks to Zebra, before it's even out on Wetflix, the premier Merce streaming service. So it's worth risking beheading. First of all, my kingdom would never sanction beheadings willy-nilly, and frankly, I could have you beheaded for insinuating such a thing. I am excited to absorb the information from this television program on the grounds that a broad survey of internet criticism indicates that it is the best Westflix show. Yes, it explores the monster conditions of both a fearless and crude way. Or in both a fearless and crude way. Like that it has silly talking animals. <laughs> Yay! Silly talking animals! Now, what shall I ask? My vast array of kitchen sea monkeys to cook up for us. Monkeys. Oh, I was kind of assuming we would order a pizza if we were binge watching a Wetflix show. How perfectly quaint. Of course, I have commoners over. I should indulge in commoner practices. A pizza it shall be. Now, what toppings do you suggest? This question is irrelevant because I am unable to consume caloric substances in the way of organic life forms. And I was going to suggest a pizza with the cold sweat of dreamers experiencing a nightmare. And the shrieks of the dying. What am I give the rest of you an addition? Oh, oh, let's get a pizza with a pizza on top. And then there can be a pizza on the pizza. Yo. Sometimes pizza. Hmm, if I can't choose a topping, maybe I should just behead someone after all. Nope. You can think of the perfect topping by consulting one of your friends, Miranda's shell phone. Get it? And that friend is... Oh shit. Alright, let's see. I'm not there, bro. So I see a game changer when it comes to pizza topping. She was the one that introduced cheese's pizza and before that pizza used to be covered in yogurt. Gross. It was so destructive that she, uh... <laughs> has been banned from the ancient academy of pizza topping by the blue pizza topping master due to her dangerous vanguardist ideas. I'm gonna go with sussy. Hell yeah. So where am I? Yeah. Are you friends? After a brief but incredibly informative and creative brainstorming session with sussy, you hang up in the shell phone, redial, and order a pizza. It arrives not too long later, and everyone is delighted to take a bite of the pizza and discover. Oh, pineapple and good grades! I'll admit, I don't usually enjoy a disc uh, so common and vulgar as pineapple on pizza, but it does pair well with the academic excellence. It's funny because the taste of genius is quite reminiscent of the taste of insanity, and yeah, it does go well with pineapple. I do not process taste buds, but I am enjoying my friend's enjoyment of the sustenance. As are you. 
All thanks to Sussy and you for choosing her. Those good grades get you plus two smarts, and the whole pizza situation is an automatic plus Yo, one fun. Yo, my brain course. is huge. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a Bob Ross poster also. Yeah, you got the hair like Bob Ross and the huge brain in that one picture. <laughs> where I can combine all the green screen frames. <laughs> Let's trade places. That'd be your monster, Sona. Just you with a giant head. True. Everybody chooses a celebrity. Say your choice out loud. The rest of the players before clicking. Hugh Jackman. Jack Alec Baldwin. Fuck, I was gonna pick Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Alright, who's uh, everyone else pick? Jack uh, Black. Hugh Jackman. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Well, shit. Oh, I mean, Hugh, Hugh Jackman, bro. Hugh Jackman, bro. I mean, you know, Alec Baldwin has... Alec Baldwin has killed. I, I mean, yes, but so is Hugh Jackman. He's fucking yeah, Wolverine, and bro. And Keanu. All right. And Keanu. Hmm, no. Go first. Yeah. I'm gonna go second, though. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you two decide amongst yourselves. Who'd you pick, Javi? I picked Jack Black, bro. He ain't leading shit. You can, you can go third. <laughs> All right, Luis is third. I'll go last. He's there was a zombie apocalypse in a town called Kickapoo. Okay, we're over the hump. 